Hello, in this video, I'm going to describe the difference between EST, elevated skin temperature, and EBT, elevated body temperature, as well as give you our recommendations on how to prepare your business for the return of employees and customers. There are major differences between EST and EBT, and the impact of making the wrong selections has major ramifications. Elevated body temperature screening is defined by the global IEC 80601 standard for human febrile temperature screening and reiterated in the April 2020 FDA thermographic systems requirements specifically stating that thermographic EBT is only measurable at the inner canthus, which are the tear ducts by the bridge of the nose, and cites that all other methods are inaccurate. This means that systems that measure EST, typically via skin temperature averaging, are not accurate and subject to many adverse factors such as hot or cold skin from walking outside, crossing parking lots, possessing a sunburn, etc. Imagine entering a casino in Las Vegas after walking down the strip in the summer. Everyone would register a fever. Systems advertising group screenings use EST, which is not only against the FDA recommendation, stating people should be screened one at a time, but they are just not accurate. Most thermographic systems utilize this EST and will not be accurate in most applications. As a business operator, avoiding these types of systems is imperative as false positives inconveniencing employees and customers, not to mention creates undue frustration during these challenging times. So now that we've learned why the elevated skin temperature EBT method is not the way to go, let's hear what the officials have to say about thermal temperature screening. The FDA system's recommendations clearly call for an accurate black body temperature reference and cite that the thermal camera stability and drift must not exceed 0.2 degrees centigrade or 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. We believe the FDA made these recommendations to address the issues caused by air currents, AC, heat, wind, etc. that adversely affects non-stabilized thermal cameras, making those systems non-compliant with the recommendations. Remember, this is all about stability, which equals accuracy. So now we know what the officials say, it's time to bring in the experts. The Jogan Thermal Checkpoint Engineering team with over 100 years of collective thermal imaging experience ensured that the Jogan Thermal Checkpoint meets and exceeds the IEC 80601 standards and the new FDA recommendations by measuring for elevated body temperatures at the inner canthus, or tear ducts and replicating a laboratory-style precision environment in real-world applications. The result is high accuracy, stability, and an FDA-compliant EBT system for your business. Now that we have covered the difference between EST and EBT and found the best thermal temperature screening system, let's talk about the result of the solution. Our full-stack solution powered by Smart Embedded, Axis, DRS, and Radius AI provides automated enforcement of policies pertaining to mask usage, hand sanitization, temperature trend alerting, and social distancing. This enterprise-level solution allows simple integration to popular VMS and access control systems maximizing functionality. Combined with our environmentally stabilized high-precision thermal camera solution, we provide solutions for both symptomatic and asymptomatic people, ensuring you have covered all the bases when bringing employees and customers back to your facilities. Contact us at sales at thermalcheckpoint.com.